that is bad. No, 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 no. Suffering people will relieve dogs. Suffering people will relieve dogs. Affliction of pain and disease. Affliction of pain. Long live I mean. Long live I mean. So, uh, we welcome you all in this uh, important meeting regarding our spiritual talk and we welcome uh, His Grace uh, Mr. Shri Sundar Gopalas Prabhuji from ISKCON. speaker for today is uh, Shri S.G. Sundar Gopal Prabhuji. He is uh, a in Civil Engineering and his gold medalist from Bits Sindhuri. He is M Tech in Construction Technology and Management IIT Delhi. He is Chairman in ISKCON India Youth Council and Director for ISKCON Youth Forum Delhi. And I will uh, re read uh, his CV in short. He came in contact with ISKCON during his studies at IIT Delhi. After getting inspired from Inspiration deed for founder Acharya, his con Sri Lab Prabhupada, he felt inspired to dedicate himself for this noble cause of spreading the Vedic knowledge and culture and its practical application, especially in the life of youth. Now he has been entrusted many responsible services by the organization, like chairman for his con India Youth Council, zonal supervisor for West Uttar Pradesh and Central Bihar, and director of his con Youth Forum Delhi. Under his leadership, ISKCON Youth Forum Delhi organized Uddhar Festival for 15,000 youths in 2019, which is recorded as the world's largest anti-addiction awareness program. Also under his leadership, IIYC organized the world's largest leadership webinar in collaboration with Bada Business. Moreover, recently he benched another world record with 5,000 youths in Indian Music Press celebrating Ajati Ka Amrit Mahotsav. He has been offering individuals and organizations talks, seminars and training programs in regards to political leadership, development and value education. And we are fortunate, we are fortunate to have him here uh, in IMA Bareilly. Sir, we welcome you all and we request you uh, to uh, give your deliberation. I can stand there. No, it's okay. Hare Krishna. Om Agyan Timiram Dasa, Yanam Jan Salakya, Chapcharun Madutam Yena, Tasma Sri Ravena. It's wonderful to be here amongst all of you. Uh, <coughs> I got delayed. I beg off logic for that because I had a meeting with the DM of Bareilly. <laughs> he was supposed to reach at 7.30 but he got delayed because of some emergency work. He came at 9 o'clock. <laughs> That's why he came escorting us here till here <laughs> so that we reach on time. So. <clears throat> I, I just heard the prayers, very wonderful prayer, you, you all recited just now, eh? it's amazing and this can solve, these prayers are so powerful, so nice, you know, <clears throat> because your, your responsibility is filled with so much challenges. I saw in Corona period, I, I saw one video, you know during Corona, that some patients, you know, patients' family members were so upset after the patient died and they were practically beating the doctor. <laughs> and uh, I was surprised that what kind of, you know, industry all are working in. So difficult. It's a thankless task in one sense, you know, that you do, you give your best to someone and then after that also like, Sometimes uh, we don't get the reward for what are we trying to serve, you know? and still you have to continue your service. So this is the most kind of most selfless kind of work you all are doing. 
and that itself is a can be the reason for being motivated so like we are talking about how we can remain motivated so the the noble work which you all are doing is not easy it's the most difficult task actually most difficult task uh, because the bhagavad gita krishna says lord krishna at janm mrityu jara vyadhi दुख दोष अनुदर्शन द फोर काइंड्स ऑफ दुख सफरिंग मेंशन सफरिंग न फोर काइंड्स ऑफ सफरिंग जन्म जन्म बर्थ बर्थ वेयर लाइफ बिगिन्स दैट इज फुल ऑफ सफरिंग वी हैव टू टेक बर्थ एंड दैट इज सफरिंग एक्चुअली नो वन कम्स इन द वर्ल्ड स्माइलिंग चाइल्ड कम्स इन एंड चाइल्ड इज क्राइंग because of pain that's where pain begins life begins with pain <laughs> and then mrityu the death is very painful hmm? and uh, then jara jara means old age old age is painful and then vyadhi vyadhi means disease disease is very painful so janma mrityu jara vyadhi and all four some or somehow or other is connected to medical industry <laughs> wherever there is problem medical industry comes into picture to help people to serve people you know like i am a spiritualist i give it many discourse how how to be happy but if even when my health goes wrong you know i have to go to a doctor to get relief so when we do any kind of responsibility any kind of service whatever we do uh there are challenges there is no doubt service means challenges and we must be mentally prepared for that we should prepare ourselves mentally for the challenges there is no other solution hmm? <clears throat> not in only in medical industry any any industry you go anything you do there will be some challenges especially leadership role where people's life are affect people's emotions are involved then they get disturbed and uh, so much expectations are involved high expectations are involved and expectations when it is not fulfilled then turns into anger now the question is that can anyone fulfill all the expectations no so what to do there are two option either to leave the industry eh and i have seen many people many like i saw one one of the student in ems patna you know he was my student he used to come to our program and i was talking with him he said i just got admission in ems but i want to leave i said people prepare so much to get into it i do want to leave this so much stress and now he has taken leave and now he is preparing for some other exam <laughs> you are saying i am practically working for 16 hours some day 24 hours continuous two days i am in the hospital so many patients so much work load is there so one option is to leave and go for some easier way some better option where i can relax i can you know have you know comfortable comfort zone that is called comfort zone another is that to prepare ourselves mentally make ourselves more strong how i can face the challenges and depends on individual who wants to uh, adopt which one some people leave because they don't they are not able to cope it up with the stress which is coming they are not able to cope up with another is that uh, we can prepare ourselves mentally so how to do that 
So <clears throat> the best way is to best way to prepare ourselves is to first of all know the challenges. First of all, know the challenges clearly and mentally prepare for that. Yes, this is if I am going in this direction, this kind of challenges are expected. This kind of challenges are going to come. I have to face them, so I have to be ready for that. Hmm? That is the first thing, knowledge. Like you, suppose you are going on the road in a car and you find find a breaker. If you you can see the breaker before, before uh, you reach there, you see, then you can adjust the speed of your car so that you don't get that much affected. But suppose you could not see the breaker, what happens? You may meet an accident. You are walking and there is a <coughs> pothole and you could not see and you put your feet. You meet an accident. But just you see and then you put your feet in there. You put it very carefully and you don't get injured. So just by seeing in advance makes so much difference. Isn't it? Should I continue? Yeah. Okay. So, am I audible to everyone? Yeah. yeah. So, we do not have much time left. So, I will continue. So, if we know, if we know in advance that what kind of problem we are expecting and we prepare ourselves mentally, so the mindset, you know, prepare our mindset. This is a, these are the challenges I am going to face. And then when it comes, we are prepared for that. That is the one thing we can do. Second thing is that uh, <clears throat> Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, uh, Karmanne Vadhikaraste Mahaphalesu Padachana. This is the text 2.47 Bhagavad Gita, second chapter, 47th verse. Ma phalesu kadachana. Ma karma phalahi turbhu. Ma sangatu akarmani. This exactly suits our situation, our occupation here. He says that Krishna says that karmani eva adhikara te. That you have right to perform your duty. Karmani means duty. But you don't have your say in the result. Result is not in your hand. You are going to do some, you know, cure some patient. You are giving your best. What is in your hand? Your 100% you are giving. But in spite of sometimes giving your 100%, you cannot save the patient. Because everything is not in our hand. Whatever is in our hand, that much I can do. But ma phalesu padachana. You know? The, everyone has their own karma. And Krishna says that who have is taken who have whoever has taken birth in this world, they have to die. Hundred percent death rate. So that's why it's very important to also have some spiritual talk with the patients. Like message of Bhagavad Gita. Eh? What Krishna says to Arjun? Arjuna was so much disturbed. This will be killed, this will be killed, my relatives will be killed. I will not fight. Hmm? How will I live without them? That's what people think. Oh, they expect that people should remain alive forever. No, that's not possible. That's why Krishna says, Asuchyananu Suchastvam 
For them also, one should not lament. Hmm? Wonderful answer. And those who are about to die, for them also one should not lament. So then say, why? Why one should not lament? If my family member leaves me, should I not lament? They, have, they are dying. How can I say I'm, I will not lament? Krishna explains further. He says that natvevaham jatu nasam natvam neme janadipa na chaiva na bhavishyama sarva vayam mataparam. Krishna said that there is not a time in the past that you were not there, I was not there and all these people were not there. We have always existed and there will not be a time when you will not be there, I will not be there and these people will not be there. We will always exist. Even after death, we exist. We don't die. Dehi nosmin yatha dehe kaumaram javanam jara tatha dehantara praptis dhirastha tanamo yati. Just like in this body we are changing. The soul is changing body in this life. The childhood life, then youth stage, then old age. So in this body itself we are changing the body. Medical science says that every seven year all these cells of the body is completely changed. We get a fresh body. In childhood, somebody slaps us. And then after 50 years, we meet him and say, you slapped me. He said, I slapped your childhood body. Body changed. Might, maybe four or five times, all the cells are replaced. But the person inside is not changed. The person who feels that I was slapped, that is so. So soul is not dying. Krishna said, even the soul will not die even after death. Soul will continue. Hmm? So we should educate people also. Some program should be there where persons are given this kind of understanding. Like in Vedic time, you see, when somebody dies, they will make them sit and read Bhagavad Gita. You know, so that they get solace. Immediately they get solace. You know, Okay, okay, we understand the reality of life, you know, like that. And uh, we should also as a doctor understand, as a doctor. We should not think that my patient is the body. No, body, they are, body we have to cure, but ultimately they are not going to die. Rather, they are going to live next life. I will give you an example, okay? Like suppose Krishna says, further he, 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 Krishna explains that Matras Prashastu Kaunti Sito Suna Sukhudukhada Agama Painu Nityastanta Tiksha Subharata That just like Sukha and Dukha, the part of life, heat and cold part of life. When there is heat and cold, in summer season also you have to do your duty, in winter season also you have to do your duty. Mother you have to go and cook in the summer also, in the winter, winter also. You don't say, no, now it's a year. Summer, I will not cook. We do our duty. So just like we are doing our duties, whether success or failure. And then further says that this body, this is like a cloth. Body is compared to a cloth. Vasansi jirnani yatha bihaya navani grihnati naru parani tatha sarirani bihaya jirnani anyani sanjati navani dehi. Krishna says that just like a cloth, when your cloth becomes old, torn, what do you do? You change it, except a new cloth. Suppose I give you an option, okay, that your cloth has become old, throw it and take a new one. How many of you will accept it? And how many of you will lament that why I should get new? No, I will keep my old one only. Everyone will agree that give me new one. Isn't it? 
एंड हैप्पीली वी एक्सेप्ट न्यू वन वे सेलिब्रेट आई गॉट न्यू क्लॉथ सो सिमिलरली वेन द बॉडी बिकम्स यूजलेस ओल्ड देन सोल वॉन्ट्स टू लीव दिस बॉडी बिकॉज इट इज इट हैज बिकम ओल्ड और मे बी नॉट वर्केबल एंड देन सोल वॉन्ट्स टू गेट एन अदर फ्रेश न्यू बॉडी विच इज अवेलेबल Krishna says that where is the harm? He is going to get a new body. That's all. See, if a person has this knowledge, why he will get disturbed? He will try his best, but he will not get disturbed. But nowadays the problem is that most of the people are not educated in this knowledge, so they consider themselves as body. and they think that if the body will go away the person will go away person will die you know so this knowledge is very very important that's why krishna was explaining to arjun that we should not lament again and again again and again again and again you see from text number 2.11 to 2.30 second chapter 11th verse to verse 30 bhagavad gita you all should read that i recommend all of you because i have a, i can explain all these shlokas you know every shloka i can explain detail but time is less but i would recommend all of you to go through this bhagavad gita read 2.11 to 2.30 krishna again and again he say don't come in under stress don't go in depression no do your duty do your duty as a matter of duty you perform your duty in the process of fighting people may get killed but you have to do your duty just like you are doing you know surgery and sometimes people operation is successful sometimes they die but that is your duty what you can do hmm? take it as a duty don't get emotionally too much attached with that you know disassociate with the emotions there you are doing your performing your duty and uh, life is all about life and death sometimes somebody will die sometimes somebody will live so this bhagavad gita will give us the spiritual vision he says that the soul is not going to die the soul is eternal nainam chindanti sastrani nainam dahati pavaka na chainam kledayanti apo nainam sosyati marupa he says that it, no weapon can cut the soul it can only cut the body the fire cannot burn the soul isn't it soul is eternal nitya sarvagata sthanu achalo ayam sanatana say eternal soul is eternal hmm? it's eternal you are not going to die therefore the text 30th takes krishna says that tasmat सर्वाणी भूतानी न तम सोचित मरहसी देर फोर डू नॉट लैमेंट फॉर एनी वन कृष्णा सेज आफ्टर एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑल दिस श्लोक आई सेज डू नॉट लैमेंट फॉर एनी वन सी एवरी वन स्प्रिट सोल नॉट बॉडी वॉट स्प्रिट सोल वेन सी द सोल यू डोंट लैमेंट बिकॉज सोल देर इज नो बर्थ नो डेथ न जायते म्रियते वा कदाचि नाम भूत्वा भविता वा न भूय अजो नि शाश्वतम पुराणो न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे एक्स टू पॉइंट टू ट्वेंटी कृष्ण से जट न जायते फॉर द सोल देर इज नो बर्थ फॉर द सोल देर इज नो डेथ न म्रियते देर इज नो टाइम सोल वॉज नॉट देर not there will be any time soul will not be there soul will ever exist so you don't have to lament no lamentation perform your duties and be ready for the whatever result comes outcome comes whether it is good bad you no know, profit loss don't get affected by that so that vision spiritual vision when one develops then only we can free, become free from stress anxiety situations in life so this was the second message which i wanted to give that <clears throat> krishna says that 
कर्मण्य वाद कर माँ फलेशु कदाचार्य द रिजल्ट इज नॉट आवर हैंड वी कैन नॉट नो वन कैन एक्चुअली इन भगवदगीता कृष्णा नेवर से एनी वेयर दैट यू विल नॉट डाई कृष्णा से यू विल डाई डेथ इज श्योर डेथ इज श्योर बट यू कैन अवॉइड वॉट बर्थ कृष्णा इज टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्राई टू अवॉइड बर्थ डोंट ट्राई टू अवॉइड डेथ पुनर्जन्म न विद्यते माम उपेते तो कौन ते पुनर्जन्म न विद्यते वो कौन ते दो जो टेक सेल्टर अपनी दे विल नॉट टेक बर्थ अगे जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्य एवं एव यो वेति तत्वता त्यक्वा देहम पुनर्जन्म नहीं माम है स्वर्ग दैट इफ पीपुल विल अंडरस्टैंड मी देन दे विल नॉट टेक बर्थ अगे ही नेवर से दैट दे विल नॉट डाई देथ इज श्योर but you can avoid what birth so we should not try to avoid death we should try to avoid birth that's what the conclusion of bhagavad because once you have taken birth death is sure so if you want to avoid death then you have to avoid birth you know and how one can avoid birth hmm? by getting out of the cycle of birth and death so this is cycle birth Death, birth, death, birth, death, birth, death. This is cycle we are going, cycle. So one duty of the doctor is what? To save people from death, from disease, from you know. But then another duty is also there. What is to save them from birth? <laughs> And that is the permanent solution, isn't it? <laughs> How we can save from birth, you know? That's what is Bhagavad Gita all over. It says that see, Gita explains in the fifteen chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, "Mamu pete konte asas chotam dukhale, o konte ya o Krishna Arjuna, come to my shelter. This world is asaswatam. Asaswatam means temporary. This world is." temporary and second is dukhalayam this world is full of dukha suffering there will be suffering there will be suffering dukha one dukha goes another comes the nature of the world is like that you know so asasatam and dukhalayam and then she says that Asasat means temporary. You see, everything is temporary in this world. You bring new cloth, don't even wear it. Just keep it after twenty years. You see, cloth has become weak. Bring a new car after twenty years, it becomes old. Even if you don't use, the time is bringing change. That changes everything. The body, we don't know how we were young, and then suddenly it starts growing old. Nobody wants to grow old, but automatically one has to grow. Hmm? So these are the realities of life. They are the realities of life. So Krishna says, how we can you mould your life in such a way that you lead your life in such a way that in this life, you know, uh, you perform your duties in such a way. That do not get entangled in that, so that you know once you leave the body, you don't come back again in this world. So then, in in eighth chapter, he says how to leave the body, how to die. Generally, we learn art of living, but in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is teaching art of dying. How to die? Eh? In eight point five, eighth. Chapter fifth sloka, Krishna says, you know, Krishna says that yam yam bhavam ismaran vapi tejti ante kalevaram tam tam evati kanti sada tad bhav bhavit. That at the time of death, whatever state of mind one is, accordingly he gets the next life. And he says, if people remember God at the time of death, then they will get promoted to the God. They will not take birth again in this world. Ante Narayan Smriti, 
At the time of death, try to remember the Supreme Lord. Krishna. There are so many examples. No? Then there comes the concept of bhakti. How we should perform our bhakti. If we remember this world, then we have to come back to this world. And again, coming back to this world means again the cycle. So the, the Krishna says that you practice to remember me, the Supreme Lord, and then at the time of death, if you remember me, you will come back to my abode. So Arjuna is asking, where is your abode? Where do you live? Krishna says, I come in this world at certain interval. Yada yadahi dharmasya glani bhavati bharata avithana madharma sitadatma sijamahi. That whenever there is decline of religion, religious principles, then I come here to set everything right again. But then after that I go back. So where do you live? He says, I live, my residence is a different place. Natar bhasayate suryo na sasanko na pavaka yadgatvana nivartante tar dham parmama. Krishna says that I live in my abode where there is no birth, no death, no old age, no disease. You must have heard a uh, song Achal ki tujhe me leke chalu Ek aise gagan ke tale Jaha gam bhi na ho Aansu bhi na ho Bas pyaar hi pyaar ke Where is that place? Have you ever thought? Is it the house of Kishore Kumar? Eh? No? But There is a place now, how to understand? There is a place where there is no birth, death, old age, and disease. What is the proof that there is some place, something like that, where there is no birth, no death, no old age, no disease? Is there any proof? Very easy to understand. Very easy. A child, when a baby takes birth, baby feels hungry. Yes or no? Feels hungry? Does baby know where is the food? Does baby know? No. Baby doesn't know. The hunger itself is the proof that food is there somewhere. Isn't it? If food is not there, how hunger can come? First, food is created, then hunger is created. Water is there, therefore thirst is there. So, thirst is the proof that water is there. Although the child doesn't know where is the food, but food is there. So, similarly, every one of us, we look for what? Eternity. We look for what? No death. Deathless life. We all are aiming for what? Deathless life. This desire itself shows that deathless life exists. If it doesn't exist, nobody will desire. Desire is the proof that object exists. When a smartphone was not there, nobody was desiring a smartphone. The desire for a smartphone proves that a smartphone is there. The desire for television proves that television is there. If it is not there, nobody will desire. So similarly, we all desire deathless life, eternal life, because that is there. That's what the proof says. Desire is the proof that object is there. So, so Krishna says that the life, while living all our duties, doing all our duties, parallelly also, we should, we have a duty how to transcend the world and not come back again in this world, not to take birth again in this world. Parallelly we should do both. Live in this world, at the same time do your duty in such a way that do not come back again in this world, go back to spiritual world. And that is called bhakti. When we develop affection for the Lord, when we develop attachment to the Lord, then we do not come back in this world. So parallel you do that. What? Doing our duty. And then he said, third part is that ma karma fal heturbhu. Krishna says, ma karma fal heturbhu. That suppose you are doing something and you failed in your attempt. What happens? Somebody fails in the attempt. He said, oh, I am a nonsense, I am a useless person because I, I think I didn't work very hard, therefore I failed. 
and he didn't give my 100% therefore i failed no krishna said don't think like that even after giving your 100% you can fail because everything is not in your hand and why don't you accept a person accepts that i have given my 100% after that whatever will come i will have the courage to face it so that she said ma karma phal hote don't make yourself responsible for failure sometime you may be responsible but sometime you may not be also and then he said ma sangastu karma do not take shelter of inaction always remain active oh if i am failing sometime you become discouraged so don't become discouraged keep doing your duty in spite of failure continue your duty continue your duty even if you are failing keep doing if you are successful you still do you are failing still you continue as a matter of duty that's all so these are the fifth thoughts i try to share with all of you from bhagavad gita how we can you know uh, see the responsibility of our life and how I, we can remain uh, very very stable calm and peaceful in all these situations thank you so much मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सेक्शन ऑफ भगवद गीता दीज ट्वेंटी श्लोक सेकेंड चैप्टर वर्स इलेवन टू वर्स थर्टी फिर कृष्णा एक्सप्लेन्स अबाउट द the knowledge about the soul who we are we are not this body body is just a dress krishna says all most of the our anxiety if you see is related to the body which we are not krishna says you are not what you are anxious for so the moment we start seeing the soul not only the body this like example it gives that there was a old lady old lady and she had a parrot and she had a cage and she used to keep the parrot in the cage and daily she used to polish the cage with gold but she forgot to feed the parrot polishing cage very nicely daily but forgetting to feed the parrot and parrot dies so similarly we taking care of the body so nicely investing so much money to take care of the body but we are forgetting the soul how to feed the soul so we also should know what, how to feed the soul not only body if body is you know little discomfortable is not a problem at all see early, earlier uh, few years back there is no air condition isn't it so in summer season in the village when there will be too much heat they will have a fan and they will use this even so body might be hot but mind was cool but now we have ac and you are sitting in ac body is cool but mind is hot <coughs> mind is you know very angry disturbed so what is more important let body body heat or cold doesn't make much difference if mentally we are peaceful isn't it we should learn how and mentally we can remain peaceful krishna says in bhagavad gita the same second chapter it goes continuing from text number 54 
to 72. Krishna says, how one can become peaceful mentally? Says, desires. You have to control your desires. With the desires, if the desires gets unfulfilled, you become disturbed. You have certain expectations. And if the expectations doesn't get fulfilled, then you become angry, disturbed. So why to have unrealistic expectations? And what is the unrealistic expectation, expectation in medical industry? That I, I, I will certainly save this person. Of course, we should try our best. But reality is that even after trying our best, sometimes it may not be. So the realistic expectation is was is what? That I will try my best and to save the person, but reality is that sometimes may not be also. So mentally be prepared for that. That is called expectations should be realistic. If you go to a tiger and you hug a tiger, oh my dear tiger, I love you. And you expect that tiger also will embrace you. Because I will love someone to love someone, he will do Not necessary. Not necessary. Your expectations are unrealistic. You have to see that whether other person also has got the same heart or not. And based on that you should set your, your expectations. No? So expectations are the cause of disturbance. Yes. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Bhashman Zai Sunte Aare Hain Ki Karm Hi Pooja Hai. Work is worship. Time Hi Elaborate. Yeah. Work is worship. But what kind of work? <coughs> work. Like. <coughs> work which. Uh, is in line with the mission of the Lord. That is worship. Like the Lord wants you to. Perform some duty. And if you are doing that, that is worship. Not that only do arati, that is worship. Lord, like suppose, you know, I am thirsty. And I come to your home. I am very thirsty. And you start taking lamp and doing this for 10 hours. Will I be happy? No. I will say, remove this, give me water. If you give me water rather than arati, I will be more happy. <laughs> Isn't it? So similarly, what is work? Work means giving water. Practical. Something, doing something. Practical also along with arati. <laughs> yeah? But the, that kind of work, which kind of work? See, yagyarthat karmano unyatra. For the sake of yagya. Yajna means for the pleasure of the Lord. You do such kind of work which pleases the Lord, then that work is worship. If you do the work which displeases the Lord, that is not worship. Are you getting the point? So while doing your work, you also have to see whether this my work is pleasing the Lord or displeasing. If it is pleasing, it is equal to worship. Because what is the purpose of worshiping the Lord? To please Him. Isn't it? So any activity you are doing, if it is pleasing the Lord, that is worship. But if it is displeasing, like you are worshipping, and while worshipping you are abusing somebody, that is not pleasing. Even though you are worshipping the Lord, but you are not pleasing the Lord. You got the point? This is what? Goal is to please the Lord. He should be happy by your activity, whatever activity you are doing. Is that clear? मतलब दुख ना हो ये बड़ा 
असंभव सताने लगता है जैसे आपने अभी कहा कि बॉडी इज ओल्ड जब आप ओल्ड है जब ओल्ड आदमी जाता है बॉडी ओल्ड हो गई है जाता है आ, समाज में उसको त्योहार की तरह ही मनाते हैं हमारे शास्त्रों में कि नब्बे साल का अस्सी साल का आदमी जा रहा है लेकिन अगर वही बॉडी अगर कम उम्र की है और किसी के परिवार में अगर ऐसा होता है तो इट इज ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल कि उस दुख को वो ना तो उसको सहन कर पाए या उसको मेरा मतलब आप समझ ना सहन कर पाए आई आई अंडरस्टैंड पॉइंट इज दैट बंधन लेट इस टॉक अबाउट बंधन यू टॉक अबाउट बंधन है ना इट्स अबाउट बंधन विथ वॉट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बंधन बंधन जो है वो इट्स विथ द सोल एक्चुअली वी आर वी आर अटैच विद द सोल नॉट विद द बॉडी बॉडी कैन चेंज टूडे आई हैव ए वेरी ब्राइट फेस लाइक आई विल गिव एन एग्जाम्पल वन पर्सन वॉज देर ही वॉज माई रिलेटिव ही हैड ए वेरी ब्यूटिफुल फेस एंड ही वॉज क्लीनिंग और मेक सम सर्विसिंग हिज बाइक एंड सडनली देर वॉज फायर द बाइक एंड फायर केम ऑन हिज फेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ माई आईज द फेस वॉज कम्प्लीटली बर्न आई वॉज देर प्रेजेंट लाइव आई सॉ लाइव and no more beauty will you still love the person will wife you still love the person or not will the relation be still there or not is it with the face no if it is with the face that is not real love real relationship real relationship has nothing to do with the body it's with the soul now we say that relationship is the cause of suffering in the modern time relationship has become the source of suffering but you know in the harvard university in 1940 there was a research and the research went for 75 years many of you may be knowing also the research was happiness adult happiness what brings happiness in life and there was 75 year research and 750 people were selected on their life the research went on for 75 years half of them were rich half of them were poor and after 75 year the conclusion was that the happiness in life comes by relationship If you have good relationship in your life, you'll be the most happy person, even if you don't have a lot of money. But if you have poor relationship, then that re- कहते ना relationship दो धारी तलवार है. अगर सही से संभाल पाए, तो आनंद का स्रोत है. नहीं तो बहुत बड़ा बंधन है, burden है वो. क्या हो जाएगा? Burden हो जाएगा. उसको लेके ढोना पड़ेगा जबरदस्त. The relationship. एक कला है एक साइंस है एक कला है जो आजकल हम सीख नहीं पाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज यू हैव टू बिकम ए डॉक्टर हाउ मेनी इयर्स डू यू स्टडी टू बिकम ए डॉक्टर टेन प्लस बट बचपन से जो पढ़ते हैं वो भी तो उसी के लिए पढ़ते हैं अगर देखा जाए तो पच्चीस साल पढ़ते हैं हम तब जाकर डॉक्टर बनते हैं टू बिकम वॉन्ट टू बिकम ए गुड डॉक्टर यू स्टडी थर्टी 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 ईयर्स You want to become good engineer? You studied twenty-five years. Good lawyer, twenty-five years. You want to become good husband? How many years do you study? Tell me. How many courses do we do? How much money do we pay? Okay, I am taking a five-year course. How to become good husband, good wife? Practically none of us. We do not know. Suddenly, wife came in my came in my life, and we started living, and then. After some, we do not know how to. What are the psychology of women? Psychology of a man? We do not try to understand each other. And then accident happens because this is also a department of life where we don't pay much attention because maybe so many reasons, genuine reason also. I, we may not have time. 
but this is important part of life as much important is to earn money to serve the society similarly it is important to have a good relationship in our life you may have 5000 friends on facebook but none in your daily practical life no one in your day to day life whom you can share your heart and trust that he is there for you because that's that's what is, we have to learn that part also so when it is not there then relationship becomes a family becomes a burden kind of bandhan <laughs> otherwise family is not a bandhan it's not a bandhan nobody is bandhan we have to learn how to live with each other how to get along with each other happiness you have to learn the art you have to study the principle theories are there for that just i give you research on that how important it is भारत में देखो एक परिवार में सात आठ लोग हैं इन जापान देर इज ए कंपनी न्यू कंपनी दे हैव ओपन यू हैव टू हायर फैमिली दो सौ डॉलर एक दिन का यू गेट ए मदर मदर आएगी दो सौ डॉलर एक दिन का लेके जाएगी कंपनी खोला है एक आदमी ने एंड पीपल आर बाइंग हायरिंग द रिलेशनशिप ऑन रेंट and here we have relationship we do not value isn't it we do not pay attention forget about paying money that's okay but attention it's not about paying money but it's about paying attention that is more important than paying money you are tell your child is saying trying to say something maybe nonsense maybe no use for you but for him it is very important you have to pay attention isn't it for you it is useless he is wasting my time but for him it is important he wants a plastic toy for you it is useless but for him that is very important that you have to understand and if you do not understand then you cannot that relationship will become burden bandhan difficulty so just i try to share some thoughts on this one aspect that bandhan family becomes burden like that otherwise it's not a burden and people think this spirituality means we have to give up relations and all no it's not like that it's not like that this spirituality not about giving up anything if you ask me you explain how many responsibility i have i am the direct chairman of his con india youth council he has got 15000 youths I am the uh, in charge of entire West UP, Central Bihar, and all these and so many temples, all management, organization, everything I am doing. So you say that I have no response. It's not like that. I don't have emotions, feeling. It's not like that. I have everything. But that responsibility, family is a responsibility. What we think. not on we don't take it as a responsibility we take it as a as a source of pleasure i want to derive pleasure out of it no you will derive same thing will happen but you have to invest then you return get return but you don't wait for return anything first you have to invest then you get return so you should, your focus should be to invest relationship is investment seven habits of effective highly effective people written by stephen covey he explains about relationship relationship is like bank account you first deposit and then withdraw without depositing you with you withdraw what happens bankrupt so you the last one is how much have i deposited in my relationship and he says to deposit in a relationship You have to have six things, he says. Now I say formula Kluya, C L U E I A. C means keep commitment. The first thing you have committed something, made some commitment, fulfill it. L means little things matters a lot. Sometimes small, छोटे छोटे चीज़ हमें neglect कर देते हैं. Best time to develop relationship is when somebody is in pain. उस समय जो उसको सपोर्ट देता है उसको बहुत प्यारा होता है 
अच्छे टाइम में सब साथ रहते हैं बुरे टाइम में जो साथ रहता है वही रियल रिलेशनशिप बनता है सो इवन यू से समबडी से समबडी इज इन डिस्ट्रेस दैट इज द बेस्ट टाइम टू डेवलप रिलेशनशिप एंड स्मॉल थिंग्स आल्सो एट दैट टाइम जस्ट मेक अ कॉल एंड आस हाउ आर यू नाउ आफ्टर टेन आफ्टर वन आवर अगेन हाउ आर यू फीलिंग नाउ दैट इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट इन पेइंग टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर थिंग दैट इज लिटिल थिंग बट मैटर इज अ लॉ so that is ill you means understand understand other person need interest concerns and expectations what other person needs what other person you know expects from you and then unless you don't understand other person how you can serve other person to serve other person you have to understand and e means expectations clarify expectations sometimes we do not know what the other person is expecting so clarify expectation i means so personal integrity integrity don't criticize anyone behind the back when he is not there talk to the people not about the people and i a means apologize sincerely when you don't do ever five apologize sincerely i made a commitment i did not follow i really feel sorry for that apologize so if you do these six things relationship goes well very nice and you'll see that you know the same relationship can you know be, be the source of happiness so that few thoughts but we should not think that spiritual means detached from the everything no it cannot remain detached we cannot be alone we have to be with people You know, we cannot remain alone. Even you come to the temple, we are like sadhus, but we have to live with the sadhus. There we have to develop relation, isn't it? So I I think now time is up, and we have to stop now. Thank you so much. Thank you.